Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Sony PlayStation Portable in Education and Training. To turn the PlayStation Portable on, on the right hand corner on the end you will see a slider. Push the slider up or away from you and let go and the green light should then come on. The PlayStation will power up and you should see a screen similar to the one on the screen in front of you now. To begin with we're going to look at navigation around the PlayStation by using the arrows underneath your left hand thumb you can move categories to the, to the left and to the right as I'm doing now or you can move up and down an item. If I move one category to the right here and you can see that the memory stick is shimmering there so that would be the selected item to select an item I simply press on the cross key which is under my right thumb consider the cross key to be similar to select on a mouse so I've pressed on cross and you can see that I've gone down one layer here I can navigate down again into my subcategory here. Each one of these represents a folder inside which there are images. If I want to go back up a level, I can do that by either pressing on the zero key underneath my right thumb, or which I'll demonstrate now. So that's back up one level. If I go down again by pressing the cross key, if I now press the home key that takes me back up a level also okay so let's have a look at some images and ebooks I'm going to go across to the photo and I'm going to go down to the memory stick and I've selected the memory stick the simplest way by which to get ebooks onto the PlayStation Portable is to save powerpoints to do that in powerpoint you go file save as and jpegs if i go to the top folder here this is an example of some students work where they created the powerpoints themselves and now by using the shoulder keys those are the clear plastic keys on the top left and top right of the psp i can move one to the in advance by clicking on the right one you can see that the slides are changing and if I go one to the left or back by using the left hand shoulder key okay so I've navigated around those couple of slides if I now press on the zero key to come back out and zero key or arrow key again uh, next example we have here is where a uh, primary school sorry a secondary school has used powerpoints as flashcards for teaching languages so here you can see advancing each one and I'm going to press the zero key to come back out of that use the arrow keys and navigate down to the next one which is educational diagrams if I press on the cross key on this one and here as I go down through you can see I've got thumbnails of each one of my images showing a preview I'm going to select this diagram here by now pressing the cross key you can see that I, I can't see too much detail on this diagram so in order to zoom in I'm going to press and hold the square key which is under my, my right thumb and then using the analog stick which is the knurled button underneath my left thumb I'm going to zoom in I'm going to push in so every time I push it forward you can see I zoom in and then by releasing the square key and using the analog stick again I can navigate around and as I reach each location on the image so you can see it clarifies okay and I'm going to come back out of that image 
So those would be looking at diagrams. It is really very easy to put PDF documents onto the PlayStation Portable. This is done by using a program called IntraPDF whereby any PDF documents and therefore anything that can also be created into a PDF can be put onto the PlayStation Portable. So here I've got a reading book called Spies and Gadgets. Again if I press the shoulder key on the right this is advancing pages I'm seeing the thumbnails of each of my pages. So if we go back to the index here, which was one more I believe, and press the square key and I can zoom in such that I can now read that content and using the analog key I can zoom slide up to the top of the page or move down a page. So I'm going to come zoom back out and now I'm going to advance onto the next page. Let's find a page with some text to read and a suitable diagram. Okay, on this page I'm going to zoom in so I can read it. So I've zoomed in and let's slide up to the top of the page and you can see the text clarifies and then I can, holding down the square key, zoom in and out if I again if I want or I can slide down the page and continue reading the rest of the page. And let's come back out of that one. That concludes putting images or viewing images on the Sony PlayStation Portable.